Hey babes, in this video I am going to be showing you how I transform from Mark into Raven from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2. She is one of my favourite drag queens and her look, her aesthetic is definitely one of my favourites. A lot of queens try to emulate the drag makeup of Raven and I haven't done drag makeup in this channel for ages so I thought to do one for you guys today and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, um, I am first going to shave because that is pretty much needed unless you're a bearded queen so I'm just gonna shave and I'm gonna come back. Okay so guys I've now washed my face and now I'm just gonna be putting blue contacts on. These are from maplelens.com. To cover the eyebrows, I'm just going to be using Pritt Stick. And what you want to do is push your eyebrows back against the hair growth, like this, towards the front of the brow. This is so that it gets to every single crevice of each hair. Get a brow brush and then push it back. And then you just want to paint over your brows again and you can do as many layers as you want make sure that each layer dries first before you add another layer once you are happy with the coverage you will just want to get some loose powder and just pat that on to the eyebrow really pack it in don't sweep it like this because that will just smudge the glue around and this will remove all of the glue's tackiness and adds another extra layer of security so that it doesn't move. And now you can apply a moisturizer because moisturizer moves the glue around, that's why we wanna do it after the brow cover. So I'm gonna be using my Rodeal Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Moisturizer. You are applying a lot of makeup on, so you wanna have some skincare to, you know, make sure your skin is protected. For the face, I'm just gonna run through it as quickly as possible in not much detail because I want to do a drag contour highlight foundation video separately so if you're interested in that let me know I think it deserves a video of its own but yeah I'm just gonna run through my foundation really quickly I'm gonna apply a bit of beard cover how are you guys doing by the way I am doing fine there's a lot of things going on with university and working so I'm very busy at the minute but I'm just trying to get through university right now and just trying to get my life together anyway foundation I'm gonna be using Mac full coverage foundation in NC 35 and a round top brush just buff that into the skin Now I'm going to be using Vichy Derma Blend in Opal to go over my eyebrows. This is going to be my highlight colour. So I'm applying that under the eyes. Just on the bridge of the nose. You want to blend that out with the same foundation brush from before. So now that I look really weird, I'm going to be setting my makeup using my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. It's a yellow tone powder and I'm going to beat this face. Do a bit of contour. Raven's cheekbones are pretty high up, so it goes diagonally downwards rather than rounded. So try to make them really sharp and diagonally down rather than round. <laughs> to highlight under the eyes and to cut the cheek, I'm going to be using this art sponge and use a little bit of light powder. This is what Raven actually does. And you just want to cut the cheek.
Raven's brows are pretty light, so I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, and I'm going to be using the center shade right here, and I'm going to be plotting out the eyebrows. They're not too high, they're not too arched, and from the arched, it goes pretty much straight on. So after that, I'm going to be taking the matte pale shade and I'm going to be applying that on the new brow bone. I'm then going to be taking Sasha Cosmetics blush in the colour Next to Natural. It's a peachy colour and that'll be great as a transitional colour. I'm just going to plot out where I want the crease. It's going to be really, really high up and Raven's crease goes pretty rounded. I'm also planning to do a Bianca Del Rio makeup tutorial. What do you guys think? Do you want to see a Bianca makeup tutorial? Let me know, guys. I'm going to be using the dark brown shade from the Vanity Palette and just plot out my crease. Raven is definitely one of my favorite queens. She was always on point on season two and on All Stars. And I also really enjoy her web series with Raja and Delta. Fashion photo review where she critiques drag race queens on their looks. Her look is what a lot of new comma drag queens try to replicate because she's so flawless. I like the way she pads. I, I don't like it when queens don't pad. I think it's just bad because you're just showing your boy body if you don't pad. Unless you're Carmen Carrera, then you should pad. I'm going back in with my flat definer brush and foundation and carve out the crease. This is going to make the crease really super defined and clean. And then I'm going to go back in with the pale matte shade and set the lid with this. For liner, I'm going to be using two different ones. I'm using a pen to plot out my guidelines and I'm going to be filling it in using my NYC liquid liner. A lot of the time, Raven goes for an inner corner eyeliner look. So, just extend a line from the inner corner outwards. And you also want to plot out where you want the lines to go. Sometimes Raven does a thin line, but most of the time she creates a really, really thick, harsh liner look. So that when you open your eyes, you can see the line. Um, so I'm going to open my eyes and plot out where I want this to be. I'm just going to plot out where the top of my liner is going to be at. And then I'm going to be creating my wing. And then after that, I'm just filling that in using my NYC liquid liner. And I'm also going to be lining the lower lash line. So I'm creating a double winged eyeliner look on the bottom. So there's going to be an opening between the two liners here. And you want to draw across the whole lower lash line. And just draw a winged liner on the bottom outwards. After that, I'm going to be setting that liner and smudging that in with a black shadow. So you see with drag makeup, powder falls on your lashes. So you want to coat your own lashes with mascara. So I'm using my 17 Falsify. And for lashes, I'm going to be using this, like, I think there's about three to five lashes here, just stuck together. For drag, what you want to do is apply the lashes as close to the lash line as possible in the inner corner. And then on the outer corner, you have to wing it up, so just apply it a little bit higher than your lash line, so that it lifts the eye. And as a finishing touch to the eye, I'm going to be applying a little bit of white liquid eyeliner. This is the Stargazer one, and I'm just applying that onto the gap between the two liners in the inner corner of the eye. This just brightens up the eye a little bit, just brings a little light in there. And I believe that is the eyes done. That does look very raven. Very raven. I'm just going to dust off the powder. To intensify the highlight, I'm taking my Sasha powder palette and take 
matte cameo in nude beige and apply that under the eyes. A little bit more intense under the eyes. And with a smaller brush, I'm just going to highlight the center of the nose. So I'm creating sort of like an upside down triangle on the top of the nose here. And I'm going to taper it inwards. And then I'm going to be creating a triangle right here. And then once that is done, I'm going to be taking Perfect Honey as my contour for my nose. Go against the white highlight. Don't worry, we will be blending this out later, so it'll be a little bit more subtle. I'm going to buff the nose in. For a little bit of blush, I'm going to be using Sasha Blush in Next to Natural, which we use for the eyes. We're just applying a little bit because it doesn't look like Raven's wearing that much blush in her looks. For the lips, Raven is pretty known for her nude lips. Her nude, big, injected nude lips. So I'm going to try and replicate them. I'm using MAC Well Lip Liner, which is a pinky brown. And I'm starting from my natural lip line right here on the corner, then bring that up. I'm going to be using Velvet Teddy Lipstick by MAC to fill in the lips. And then I'm going to be taking a little bit of Beauty K Lipstick in Chelsea. Just on the centre. Raven goes pretty matte with her lips, so I'm going to be setting it with some talcum powder. Now I'm just going to put some drag on. Totally finished filming and everything and I forgot that Raven has a beauty mark on the left side of her face. Um, I think it's the left side. I can't really tell because on selfies it, it's flipped over. So I think it's right here. And I'm Raven. And ignore the next few clips that involves me without a beauty spot. So this is the final look you guys. I'm wearing this blonde wig from Yes4. I will leave a link in the description bar. And this wig is inspired from the look that she had on for the finals of All Stars Drag Race. That's one of my favourite Raven looks so I thought to get this wig out. This necklace which is made of 18 karat plastic is from newfrog.com <laughs> and so is the blue dress. I've got another wig option so I'll show you that now. I've also seen Raven wearing this short pixie cut with the dark roots as well so here is another option and this wig is from newfrog.com as well. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial guys. I know it's a lot of makeup but drag is a lot of a lot of a lot and that's it you guys. Comment down below, tell me what you think, give this video a thumbs up. This has been Mark Zapanta, the Prince of Vanity. Subscribe. Bye!